Hey everyone, uh, today I'm here with my monthly January favorites. Um, I'm going to do some favorites and some empties. I just have a couple of each, so I'm going to try and get this done every month. I don't know, we'll see. I haven't done any beauty videos since I came back to YouTube, so this will be my first one. And I'm really excited about it. I've only put up a few Scentsy videos, but... Um, I had to stop for a couple weeks because I had a family thing, and um, but now that's done with and I am back and hopefully consistently. So uh, with that being said, let's get started. So um, my first um, my first favorite is uh, for my hair and it's the new shampoo that I um, that came out from Tresemme. It's the Keratin Smooth. Um, keratin smooth, mm, 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 keratin infusing conditioner and shampoo. I have them both right here. Um, it gently cleanses and smooths, um, and it's a lower sulfate formula, it says. I don't know, it has a little asterisk by it, so I don't know if that just, I don't know what that means, but, um, it's for smooth and easy to style hair, and I really like it. Um, it makes my hair really shiny um, when I you know blow dry it and style it and I like that and also it doesn't feel um, brittle at the end it's making my ends feel really smooth um, I I don't have like naturally my hair doesn't break or get real um, you know gritty or anything like that but it it sometimes just doesn't feel healthy uh, and with this shampoo I've noticed that it just feels healthy all the time and really smooth even when I don't blow dry and I just leave it um, it still feels really smooth, so I really like it. Um, the only thing that was weird was that when I when I first started using it, uh, the shampoo is a um, like a conditioner consistency. It's not like a um, a clear gel or anything like that. It's it's white like a conditioner. And when I put it on, when I you know took some out the first time, I thought, oh shit, you know, I just When I took some out the first time, I thought, oh no, I just used the conditioner first, and uh, it didn't. It was the shampoo, but so that, and the, the conditioner, uh, since the shampoo is like that white um, conditioner consistency, the conditioner is actually really, really thick, um, which I like. I love feel, it's, it's more like a mask, like a conditioning mask texture, um, which I love. So that was my first uh, one, and my second um, favorite this month was my... Um, uh, my shower gel from Lush um, in the scent It's Raining Men. Um, my favorite soap from them is called um, uh, Honey, I Wash the Kids. And, you know, I just am not a huge fan of, like, chunks of soap. Uh, I love to use a loofah and be lathery, so the chunks of soap are more difficult for that. Uh, so when they came out with this, I believe last year or the year before, but it came out in um, liquid form like this for Valentine's Day. Maybe I'm making that up, <laughs> I don't know, but I think that's what it was, um, where they came out with it like as a limited edition item and now it's um, in their permanent line, so score. And then I just have a couple beauty favorites. Um, basically what I've been using on my face, um, so the first one is the Jergens Natural Glow, Natural Glow Daily Facial Moisturizer, and in the in this um, the tone medium to tan skin tones is the one I'm using. Um, I like it because it has the SPF 20, and it's the only thing I use that has the um, the um, what am I trying to say? SPF. <laughs> I don't put anything else on my face that has SPF, so I I really like this, and also uh, I always find that my face is a lot lighter than the rest of my body. I'm pretty sure that's normal, but um, I like my face to match my body, so this just consistently keeps my face um, with more of an, a glow. Um, my second favorite is also, it's, this is not my second favorite, <laughs> who can count? Um, my next favorite is also in with my empties, um, but it's the Benefit, um, the pore professional and um, I have really large pores on my face and oily skin so I love this after I put my moisturizer on I love this for just 
kind of filling all my pores in and making my face an even surface so that when I apply the rest of my makeup it's not it doesn't settle into my in my pores or my lines so I love this and it's like I have to squeeze it hard to get anything out and I'm so sad so I have to buy a new one uh, my next favorite is something I use every day uh, I'm not 100% sure that it's my favorite of all time I just um, bought it because a lot of people were talking about it and I tried it and I like it. Um, it's just what I've been using pretty much consistently every day in January. So it's the L'Oreal Paris uh, Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in Medium. And I like it because after I put on my, my professional, so my face is like, you know, a, a, mm, blah, is, what is my face? My face is like one... Oh my goodness. Um, what am I trying to say? My face is... Oh my goodness. After I, put my, after I put my primer on, then my face is like one flat surface. There we go. A flat surface. So then when I put this on, it makes it even better. It's like an airbrushed finish. Um, and I don't use uh, foundation, just this. So... I really like it. Um, I I probably will try something else in the next month or two, but I'm going to finish this up and then maybe try something new. Probably, but I still really like that. Um, and then this is a new product, but it's also a favorite. Um, it's the Revlon Nearly Naked, um, the powder. And I have it in, just drop that, but that's okay because I don't use it, um, in 30 medium. And I use this for my uh, setting powder after I finish my makeup and everything. I put this on um, over everything as my setting powder. And I really like it. Um, I don't have the foundation, so because I tend not to wear foundation, but I do really like this powder. Um, so maybe I will get the foundation. Maybe I'll get the foundation after I'm done with my BB cream and try the two together because everybody seems to really like it. So we'll see. Um... My next favorite is um, my, my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. And um, I really, I do like the whole palette, but my favorite in here um, is this color right here called Faint. Um, I really like Max um, Soft Brown and um, Texture. I really like those colors. I use them almost every single day, and I've found that Faint is one that I can use with those two um, for just a natural eye, um, that, like my an everyday eye that I love. And also, I like to use this for my eyebrows. So um, I just cut these crazy bangs a couple days ago, so now I'm like, you can't even see my eyebrows, so I don't really have to do them if I don't want to. But um, on the days that I, I mean, I do still do them. Duh. But um, I've been liking Faint for that. And then my last beauty favorite Oh no, this is my last favorite. Last favorite. Um, I got the, for Christmas, I got the um, Sephora's um, Lash Stash box, which is, I think it's like 10 or 12 mascaras. There's two or three full size, and then the rest are all um, like this size, you know, like a, um, what is this? Wow, can I film a video with without any interruptions? I just don't even know what I'm talking about. What is this? Sample size. Um, so the rest of them are like a sample size. And I am, this actually should be in my empties because I'm pretty much done with it. But I've used this every single day in the month of January and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I almost don't even want to try the rest of the eyeshadow, I mean the, what is this? Mascaras in the box because I fell in love with this. And I knew for, right away I knew this is the one I wanted to try first because I've been having my eye on it for such a long time. But let me see if I can get close enough. So if you've never seen it, the, the bristles, I don't even know, I can't because the lighting is so horrible. But it's a plastic applicator, you know, one of those plastic applicators with the bristles and there's lots of different size bristles, they're not all the same size. And then at the end, at the end it's like, um, what's that one mascara that has, it's just a ball, a spiky ball? The... Oh crap, I forgot the name of it. But it's kind of like that where it's just a ball, but it's at the end. So I like it because you can really get in and separate the lashes. And um, I'm obsessed. 
I can't wait to go buy my full size. Obsessed. Anyways, um, that's it for my, my favorites. And I just have a couple empties. So things that I didn't necessarily love. Well, there actually there are a couple things I loved, but um, just the things I finished. Uh, the first one is my Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Anti-Aging Fragrance-Free Moisturizer. Um, I finished this up because I just had a little bit of it left. Um, and I do still use this, but every once in a while I take a break from this and use this. But now it's gone, so. Um, and then my other... Um, one of my other empties is my Olay Total Effect 7-in-1 Anti-Aging Refreshing Citrus Scrub Cleanser. And I always have a backup of this because this is my favorite face wash. And empty. Um, my favorite toothpaste. Okay, so I guess these are all favorites, but I use them all the time. So um, my, my next empties is Crest 3D White Fluoride um, Fluoride anti-cavity, toothpaste, enamel renewal, and strengthens strengthens and rebuilds, weakened enamel, removes up to 90%, whatever. Why am I reading the whole thing? I can just show you. Anyway, favorite toothpaste, done. Uh, this isn't a favorite. I just used the last of it. Actually, maybe this is TMI, but my husband used the last of this. I went into the shower to use it, and it was empty. I was like, what the heck? Someone has soft skin in this house, and it's not me. Anyway, um, it is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. And it's sulfate-free and paraben-free, and it's oil-free. Dermatologist tested, 100% natural, exfoliant. I like it. It's not my favorite. It's pretty abrasive, so if you don't like that, I love to use this stuff before I shave. I, I like to um, exfoliate my legs before I shave, so that's what I use that for. Gone. And then the last one is the John Frieda Collection Root Awakening Health Infusing Shampoo Normal Hair. This one's empty, the conditioner's not because I absolutely hate the conditioner. I like the shampoo, but I hate the conditioner, so I just tossed that because I didn't even want to finish it. But I love this because it has um, eucalyptus in it so when you put it in your hair you concentrate it on the roots and when you go to wash it out it makes like the best cooling feeling on your head I don't know if it's good for your hair but it feels good so um, I really liked it but I like my Tresemme better actually probably gonna repurchase this and use this like once or twice a week just to give my roots like a I don't know fresh feeling I don't know I don't even know if this is good for you but that's okay. I'm just going to use it anyway. So that's it. That's all my favorites. Oh, I am going to do um, a couple of other favorites videos, but I wanted to break them up because if you're wanting to look at beauty things I don't, and you're not interested in the other types of favorites I'm going to do, um, I didn't want you to have to sit through a whole video or have to fast forward or whatever. So, um, But if you are interested, I'm going to do a... Um, favorites, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but it's like favorites, um, favorites of my kids things. Um, I have quite a few things throughout the month that I like fall in love with, um, that's for my kids. And, um, so it's going to be like a mommy type video. So if you're not interested in what I have to say about things that I like for my kids, don't watch it. Um, but if you are, if you have kids and you want to see what I liked, um, that video will be up sometime next week. And then also, um, my Scentsy Favorites video will be up on Sunday. I missed two weeks. Sorry about that if you're one of my Scentsy watchers. Um, but my, my Scentsy uh, January Favorites and Introduction to February Scent of the Month will be up on Sunday. So look for that on Sunday. And then Kids Favorites um, next week sometime. And... I think that's about it. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's like... I don't know, almost midnight, it's raining outside, it's about to thunder and lightning, and I don't have any light in here. I'm in my guest bedroom because my kids are sleeping and I didn't want to wake them up. And I just, I've been trying to film this video for like a week now and I get so busy and then we had this family thing, so ugh, I just wanted to get it done. Here it is. I hope you like it. I'm sorry I'm like super frantic. My mind is like elsewhere, so I couldn't remember anything. Sorry about that, but such is life. And but I just wanted to get this video up because 
um, I want to try and get my, my favorites up at the end of each month and not be so behind. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good week.